This week, we're back at the Novios Ranch with a little different twist. Jackie's oldest daughter, Summer, chip off the old block. But Jackie had this really, really nice 12 point that he wanted Summer to get, and he finally talked her into coming. McWhorter Custom Rifles presents This week, we're back at the Novios Ranch with a little different twist. Jackie has finally talked his oldest daughter, Summer, into chasing the big 12 point that the Cowboys have been seeing. And at the end of the show, our cameraman, Darren Clifton, he's gonna get a little trigger time. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, McMillan Fiberglass Stocks, Swarovski Optic, Hornady Ammunition, and Borden Accuracy. Jackie's oldest daughter, Summer, chip off the old block. Uh, I've heard stories about her. She doesn't get to come out very much, uh, but she does like to shoot, and she uh, is very good at it, Jackie says. But uh, being a mother with multiple kids, it's, she just doesn't have the time to do it. But Jackie had this really, really nice 12 point that he wanted Summer to get, and he finally talked her into coming. Hi, um, my name is Summer Scoggins Newhouse. I'm married and I've got five boys. I grew up in a farming, ranching lifestyle and I've married into it as well. We love the outdoors, we share it with our kids. It's something we do on a regular basis. It's something that brings us a lot of pleasure and a lot of joy. You know, I can honestly say that um, it's kind of funny and I chuckle people are like, wow, um, the Novios has some really big deer. <laughs> You know, it's a really great place to hunt. And um, to me, it's just our place. It's what we know. And, you know, we were raised, and my goal is to raise my boys the same. If we say we're going hunting, when I come back, the question isn't, what'd you get? It's, what'd you see? What'd you see out there today? And that's the way we were brought up. And a lot of these deer I've grown up seeing, I see them here, I remember then when they were smaller, because they look familiar, but they're just bigger. And it's really neat to see year after year after year. It, it really is, it's something that's really special. My dad is Jack Scoggins Jr. Um, he is the owner of Star Feed Yards ever since probably before I could walk. He took me to work, I came out hunting with him, Everything we did was outside and I was a pure daddy's girl. My dad has this, I'm gonna go, of course I can go, of course I can do it, of course it's gonna be easy. Because in his mind, that's how he does life. You just do it. I was so worried about him, knowing some limitations, knowing what if he gets there and doesn't feel good. And you know, I knew that was one of my dad's dreams. I knew that was one of his dreams. And he looked at me and he said, it's going to be fine. And he's like, this is a trip of a lifetime. And I knew when he said that to me, it's going to be fine. It was going to be fine. And I didn't need to worry about him. He went, he had an unbelievable experience. I talked to him every day. He could not have had more fun. He could not have been with better people. He could not have shot a prettier bear or in, in a more gorgeous place. So I'm so glad he got to actually check something off of his list that he really wanted to do. Whenever I feel like our life, he always let us check off what we wanted to do. So I'm really glad he got to do something for himself. Summer heads to the range to show the boys how it's done. 
Summer's gonna be shooting Jackie's 6.5 Weatherby Magnum. Uh, it's, a, it's an awesome cartridge that the McCorders developed and they've been making it for years. And it's a 257 Weatherby that's necked up to a 6.5. First afternoon out, it's really, really slow. Only young bucks and a few doe. This segment is brought to you by Borden Accuracy, makers of the most accurate custom hunting actions on the market. Manufactured in the USA to true bench rest tolerances. Borden Accuracy equals success. The next morning it was really windy, but uh, the deer were acting very skittish. There was lots of deer out there, but they were just upset by that wind. There was a really nice rutted down 12 point that stepped out, but that's not the 12 they were looking for. They started out hunting at the north end at Pipeline Blind. So uh, they decided to go to the house blind. Through the years, it's always been a good second best, and so they slipped in. I hadn't been in the house blind very long when the big 12 stepped out. Uh, but it would just wouldn't stop. It just kind of moved across the left to right. Now it's getting pretty dark and this 12 steps back out in the Sandera, but it doesn't present a shot. It's just walking straight towards them. So excited, I cannot wait to get my hands on him. of this deer. Oh my gosh, look. I'm so excited. Um, we saw him earlier and he came in and then he ran out. 
um, after he got spooked by a doe. And we sat there and we were waiting and we were losing daylight and losing daylight. I was just hoping we'd see him again. And finally, when I think it was about time for us to call it quits, um, he walked out and he started walking closer and closer and he'd done that before so I was really afraid he was just going to keep walking and then turn into the brush and then that would be it. But he didn't and he gave me a great shot, he turned broadside for just a second and I went ahead and took advantage of that and here he is. I want to call my dad and tell him I got him. I'm going to tell him I squeezed the trigger and I watched it fall through the lens. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited, Dad. I know. Oh my gosh, Dad, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. The deer did not go far. Summer had her buck, and I can just imagine how happy Jackie was. Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by Extreme Wildlife Adventures, Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores, Surge Pro by Biofac Crop Care, Ultimate Antler Deer Feed, Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, and Mesquite Creek Taxidermy. Welcome back, folks. Today we're gonna to talk about shot placement on deer and other big game animals. And you guys know from watching us over the years, we've always been fond of that straight up the leg, point of the, point of the shoulder shot. That's been very effective for us with the bullets we use. That's just a killer. Absolutely, and we cover this in the True Precision uh, Hunting and Shooting School, and we get into the real science of what goes on whenever you hit that animal. But to sum it up, you know, with the bullets that we, we use, you're getting that three to five inches of penetration. Bullet is opening, fragmenting, and you're getting both the primary wound channel, which is around three inches on the projectiles that we use, and then you get your secondary and um, tertiary wound channels created by the fragmenting bullets. But that temporary wound channel with all that hydrodynamic shock, you know, it just, it, it absolutely decimates and it drops the animal in its tracks. If you've ever watched our video, Shoot in Jail, you have that huge bulge in slow motion and that's what's happening inside the chest cavity of that animal and that's why they pretty much lights out. Right, and like, you know, the other thing is like we, we make sure that we're choosing a bullet that we're not gonna get that pass through because like if you get a pass through, that's just wasted energy. Leaves with energy, that's right. So when like, it stays in, if it got there with 2,500 pounds, that's what the animal sucked And up. And then taking every bit of it. So if you want to, let's go ahead and get behind the rifle and we'll go ahead and do a demonstration on shot placement. So on all our targets in the school, we've had the targets especially made where we've got the kill zone centered on that front shoulder because that's the way we're going to teach people to shoot. So we're shooting a 6.5 PRC. This is on a Borden titanium action uh, with a Brux uh, number four 24 inch uh, long barrel. It's got the Hawkins brake on it, Hawkins bottom metal, Swaro X5 on the, on the top and Trigger Tech Trigger at about a pound. So we're going to see what we're going to do. We're going to start off at 600 yards. 600 yards. I'm at eight and a quarter, that yep. sound about right? Yeah, that's what the 10K is calling for. Not much wind. Slight left or right. All right, here we go. Ready? Excellent. All right, I'm gonna shoot 500. That one's dead. Six minutes. Shooting left target. Gotcha. Perfect. I'm top of the shoulder. Bottom of the shoulder. Top of the shoulder. And let's put one right in the center of the shoulder because all these are shots that we would want you to make. 400 yards. 400. Right hand target. Right hand target, I'm on Wind you. still looks about the same. Yeah, your wind's just a very slight left or right. Perfect. Well. It's three excellent shots. Hope we shoot that well this coming season. Can't wait till the fall gets here, but that's what we like to do. Point of the shoulder from the bottom you got a wind of about four inches right there, three or four inches left or right. You put it in there, his back feet are going to suck up, he's going to tump over, and you get to go down there and take the smiley pictures. And that's your downrange tip brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, Allen and Keith. See you next week.
Precision Hunting TV is also brought to you by McWhorter True Precision Long Range Hunting and Shooting School, Tacticam, Leo Photo USA, Sig Sauer, Trigger Tech, Brooks Barrels, and Hawkins Precision. This segment is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, Real Texas Barbecue. So the hunt is over with, but our cameraman, Darren Clifton, he's filmed at the Novils for years with us. He knows the ranch just as good as we do because he's been behind the camera. Uh, but with a day and a half left, Jackie put a McWhorter in his hand and told him to help with the management. So the first afternoon out, there, it was kind of slow. He didn't have a lot of action, but he was just happy to be in the blind. Last morning here in South Texas at the Novius Ranch. Still looking for that deer to pull the trigger on. It's uh, a lot cooler this morning, the wind's blowing. Um, hopefully that won't make them too spooky and uh, we'll get something on their feet, to get them moving. The next morning rolls around and Darren's headed to the house blind. He was just there a couple of days ago filming summer and they saw a lot of activity, so the hopes were high that something was gonna happen there. Right, now time was running out on Darren. <laughs> it was getting really close that he was just gonna have to say, I tried and it didn't happen. I gotta get back to Alabama. As luck would have it, it, it was coming down to the wire, but out steps a really nice management buck. And Ricky told Darren, there's your deer. Hey Darren, what deer is that over here? Not to shoot him. We can shoot him. Okay. Nothing like waiting until the last minute. Every deer had cleared out of every Sendero we've been watching all morning. We're getting ready to leave, because I gotta go to the airport, like in about 10 minutes. And this one just pops out. Good looking management deer, heavy, heavy horn from what I can tell. Let's go have a look, see what we got. Getting bigger. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting bigger. Dang. <laughs> That's a good looking deer. Yes, he is. Yes, That's he a is. real good looking deer, actually. Yes, he is. Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah. 
Well, we wrapped up a great morning here in South Texas. The last literal two minutes of the hunt and uh, finally got it done. Um, nice South Texas whitetail here on the Nobius Ranch. Thanks to uh, Jackie for letting us come out and hunt this one this morning. We used uh, Lamar's McWhorter Custom Rifle, 6.5 PRC, and uh, wasn't a very extensive test for it because it wasn't a very long shot, but it definitely did the, did the job. Dropped him in his tracks, didn't take a step. Uh, it's a great morning. I'm uh, ever grateful to Jackie and the crew for giving me a chance to hunt down here. I'm sporting my Alaska cap, which is kind of funny for filming in South Texas, but I shared uh, Brown Bear Camp with Jackie in Alaska a couple of months ago. Very, very special occasion, and uh, I like sporting my Alaska cap in memory of that hunt. It's been a great morning in South Texas. From all those years of being behind the camera at the Novils, he finally got behind him a quarter and he finally had a Novils buck.